This is going to be a short video here because uh, a lot of growers will ask, well, yeah, I check my plants every day, but what should I be looking for? So this is a daily grow space checklist and something just as a good starting point to consider. So a um, great slide to print out here for just a general idea of what to look for in all the various conditions. Uh, one of monitoring is very important. So when we're monitoring everything, many different aspects we're checking up on. We want to operate maximum efficiency when everything comes together, kind of all systems go, uh, your plant should take off just like the shuttle here. So for air ventilation and circulation, you want to make sure all the fans are working, uh, are the blades and cages clean. So initially everything starts off nice and clean, but they tend to accumulate some dust, uh, some other particulates. So keep in mind, make sure you're going through and turning them off and inspecting them, making sure everything's clean and working efficiently. Humidity is going to change based on the stage of the plant. Uh, but just have an idea where the humidity is and are you in this acceptable range for the various conditions, whether propagation, vegetative, or flowering phases. Temperature, looking at daily highs being between 70 and 75. You can push this to 80. Uh, going much above 85, though, is not advised. Nighttime temps, it's good to have a little bit of a cool down, 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. I also put the Celsius here as well. So moisture is the media evenly moist across all plants. Again, depending on what media you use might depend on what your um, soil uh, moisture level is. And if you're using clay pebbles, you may want to be irrigating that almost 24 7. And hydroponics have their own parameters. pH for most growing media, we're looking at a goal of around 6.5. Uh, plant position, do the plants need to be rotated due to light intensity? Are they kind of leaning over to one side? Uh, insects and disease inspections, check the tops, the bottoms, the high, low in the canopy. It's also suggested you carry with and just kind of do a quick uh, cursory look with a loop with an LED light to spot any very small insects or disease spores at the very early stages. Nutrients, make sure there's no iris deficiencies and the feeding schedule matches the stage of the plant. A little more nitrogen uh, at the beginning to increase that leaf growth, for example. Check the walls and the floor, make sure everything's clean, make sure all the leaves are swept up. Uh, maintain light uh, distance from the tops of growing the plants, raising may be required. Also keep in mind how old the bulbs may be or the reflectors to ensure that you're still allowing the plants to achieve the maximum amount of light. So again, just a quick little overview here of all the things to be looking at, a kind of a run of a check checklist to go through for your growth space. If you're hitting all these and able to do this on a daily basis, you should be on your way to uh, an efficient and hopefully happy uh, growing space for your plants and the grower as well.